Hello everyone, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Uh, so, I will admit, I kind of defaulted to a 9x9. Nine nine. <laughs> I think this is 9x9, nine nine, right? 1, 2, 3, yeah. 7 internal, so this is 9x9. Nine nine. I even did the whole thing that Dyer does with his like glass at the top here. Uh, but, as you can see, all of these are now empty because I've made a new base. And it took me flipping ages, so... Uh, yeah, lots of digging, and uh, I'll show you what, what it is. First off, we are disassembling. This might be like our... I don't know. We can have like a little outpost over here, because I've got a little mine going on. Uh, I'll show you that over here. It's my mine. Lots of andesite about, which is really good, because I use that for a bit of building. But there you go, that's, that's now done with... Uh, I made a little farm as well, so we are getting, oh yeah, I need to maybe replant a few few of these bits, but, oh wow, bit of lag, didn't expect that. Uh, it's probably easier if I just do the bottom ones right here, because, yeah, I decided I don't want to be in a jungle biome, I forgot that jungle biomes are super annoying because of the vines, so... I am just going to take all of these bits. So what I've done, and you can probably see it on the map already, is I made this little... I say little, this is flipping big, but... I said that I would try and get into building a bit more, and this is what I came up with. We've got like a glass ceiling undergroundy bit. I saw this design, I literally googled it, like... Uh, small base designs and this came up I think it looks kind of cool uh, it's not exactly the same design as the one I found on Google it's uh, what I could do at the time uh, but yeah I've, I've got a few like all of my stuff right now is like in here and I've got some like cobble dirt and andesite chests can't remember which one it is uh, I did go and find, uh, like, if I open the map, we've gone quite a ways. Okay, it wasn't that far. Oh, no, there you go. It's loaded now. Um, I hopped in a boat. I went round like this, and I just went all the way up here, and then I came back because uh, it was getting nighttime by the time I got all the way up here. Uh, actually, I think it was like on my way back, it was nearly night time. And then when I got to my base, it was night time and I almost died. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, what do you think? I think uh, this might not even keep out spiders. Uh, and I've got to add like a few little details and stuff, but I'm trying my hardest to actually build something nice. Which I never really do. I always just like jump into it. But this is vanilla, so... Yeah, I thought this would be a good idea. Uh, I did try and do a mine over here. So you can see there's like a little little miney area. But, yeah, it goes down into water. I didn't, didn't know what I was expecting, to be fair. But it does go down into a big cavern of water. Uh, so what I think I might do is I might dedicate one of my... Maybe this one over here. I might dedicate this one here to be like a little mine area and uh, this will be our main storage area maybe this one i'll do like another uh what would you call this circle it's like a bubble i'll do another bubble over this way and get some farming going because i feel like we're going to need some good food and then maybe this one goes out into another circle which then breaks out into two more circles if or three more circles if you know what i mean and we'll just do a big circle for each of our little rooms. So I should probably mention that uh, Jade is in this pack. Not the one probe. Or Whaler. Or whatever he used to be called back in the day. Whaler was such a good name. Because it was uh, what am I looking at. Whaler. Love it. Anyway. Um, yeah I have activated that. I can't remember how I did it if I'm honest. I think it's, it, it's not H. H is the other thing. If you go to controls. Keybinds. And then. Just type Jade and Categories. Uh, I think what I did was... 
Uh, oh, I can't remember now. Maybe it was zero. Yeah, there you go. On the numpad, I use zero. And then Jade settings, and I just put display tooltip on. So I originally had the plan of uh, playing this hardcore. <laughs> and then I realized I actually like myself. So I decided not to do that. What have we got here? Redstone. I haven't got any redstone yet, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> You've got to play the. Oh, yeah, a bit of lava. It's, it's pretty good. I'm trying to go down to Y level 30, or minus 30, even. I forgot that there's minuses now in Minecraft, but. What the flip is that? Oh, that's probably one of those glow squids dying. Anyway. Yeah, I want to go to minus 30, because apparently that's where you get chromatic iron, according to the uh, fandom wiki for vault hunters. And the quicker we can get into a vault, the quicker we can get some levels, and the quicker we can unlock vein miner, which, when you don't have vein miner, after you've had it for like the longest time, it's really difficult to like play normally. In my opinion, it's probably just me. Uh, I like the convenience of it. Uh, convenience is probably not... I'm going to go in this direction because uh, I can see some water on the map right there. Yeah, Convenience is not like a, a big thing in this pack by the looks of it. Well, it didn't take long. We found our first little bit of diamond right here. So definitely have that. That'll probably... Oh, we need a diamond pickaxe before we can do anything, right? Because we need to get some obsidian. Uh, I'm trying to light this area up. I can see you, Skelly. I did forget my sword. Yeah, I found a few of these big old caves already. And, um, yeah, they've been full of mobs. I need to run around because I forgot my sword. Right, I'm going to go back to base. And, uh, where was it we came out? Oh, it was over here. I should probably mark this. Eh, eh. Eh, there we go. So I was just looking up recipes for, like, the Feral Flare Lantern and, well, you can... Yeah, flipping heck. You can see a lot of the recipes have been changed. Uh, what's refined storage like? Uh, refined... I know we're probably not going to get into refined storage for a while. Chromatic iron. Interesting. So... Uh, what about the rest of them? Oh, that one requires a base one. Steel. Vault diamond. Oh, dear. <laughs> Basically, um, they've changed a lot of the recipes. And, oh, yeah, that's a point. Chromatic iron, apparently you get it in the vaults. So once you find a first, like, few, uh, you can smack them up. And then you can use them in the vaults. Oh, I didn't mention this either. So... I got loads of oak because I grew like a bunch of trees uh, and I chopped them all down and then uh, I've got some jungle right here because jungle you know we were over in a jungle Arcacia because I found like loads of them in the little bushes that we've got about oh hello oh dear oh no does that mean I can't sleep excellent to move this over here uh, yeah, I found some in uh, the little bushes. That's the Arcacia. And then Dark Oak, I actually found like over here somewhere. I, th I think I tried to chop down a tree, but they're huge, massive trees. So we, uh, yeah, so what I did was I just grabbed a bit of wood. Uh, I've got the wood here somewhere. One of these has got it. Uh, yeah, there it is. So I've got a bit of wood for that one. I'm going to try and get all of the uh, the different, like, variants. So we need uh, oh, birch and spruce. And then I'll put, like, spruce here and maybe birch over here. And then probably fill this with oak. It's really weird playing a pack without fast leaf decay as well. Uh, yeah, because... I'm used to, like, chopping the tree and then all the leaves just go away. <laughs> but that's not the case here. I've used up quite a lot of my axe durability just uh, 
accidentally hitting leaves. So I'm currently mining at level 16 because, uh, well, I need lots more iron. These iron picks are going to break like pretty quick. Oh, what? Hello. Bit of gold. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you need lots of iron and 16 is what it says is a good level. So if you go on iron ore, you can go to world gen and it says it right here. So around about 16, I think it says it's like, ooh, maybe 15 is better. But anyway, yeah, around that level. Uh, obviously, if you go over to like one of those stony peaks, you've got a really good chance of finding it because the higher up it seems the, the better. So you want to go as high as you can. If you are nearest Stony Peaks, if you're not like me, then just dig down at level 16 or 15. I think it said 15 was better. So I'm currently down near, uh, where is, what does it say? Yeah, there we go. Minus 59. Uh, that's my Y level. Uh, that's because that's where you find diamonds. Although actually the lower you go, the better. So uh, anywhere from minus 57 down to like the bottom you can't go any further than that uh you'll find some uh some diamonds according to the world gen from uh jei or jer i don't know what that means but anyway next one is uh up at there we go another deep slate looking uh area but this is minus 30 this is supposed to be where you get uh, the chromatic iron. So I'm going to do some strip mining. I don't know if strip mining is a thing nowadays. Like if we should be doing it. But I've always done strip mining. So I'm stuck in my ways. Now according to the wiki. It says that the vault stone. Which is where you get like the, the fragments. The vault fragment thingies. Which you use with the chromatic iron. To make the vault crystals. Whatever they're called. It, it doesn't have a, a recipe on here. But. Apparently, to the, according to the wiki, it's below minus 32. So, uh, we might have to go down a few and then mine about a bit. But we should find some there. According to the book, though... God, I really need to get some stairs down. Yeah, according to the book, find clusters of vault stone on Y level minus 5 and below. So, I've got a little area at minus 5. Although, saying that, it does say and below. So, maybe I just mine about at the 32 or minus 32 level because that's where we're going to find chromatic iron and some vault stone and then of course we've got iron at 16 so those are the ones that we want to do we want to get iron uh diamonds chromatic iron and some vault stone those are the four resources that you need to get into vault hunting so i'm quickly crafting myself a nature's compass because i've just been reading up on the vault hunters reddit so eh, yeah reddit but still apparently deep uh deep sea maybe they mean deep ocean this one right here deep ocean is the place to mine uh, around minus 30 find a cave that hits minus 30 y level and you're probably set on chromatic iron. So we are... I'm going to dump a bunch of stuff off. Uh, I've also started putting some stairs. So I don't use all my hunger. Uh, and I've put some pressure plates down. Uh, but yeah, I need to dump a few things off. And then we'll set out. Oh, I've also got some barrels over here. Which uh, I've split these up. So this one is useful stuff this one is not useful stuff and gravel is in the middle because i thought i was getting lots of gravel but apparently not uh there's a few sheep around us but i think what i need to do oh and birch I, I i haven't got birch for my uh my chest area but anyway uh yeah what i think i need to do after i get some chromatic stuff is i mean i probably should do this first but anyway i need to get some slime balls because with slime balls, we can make some leads and we can, uh, I mean, uh, technically I could use some wheat and get those sheepies back over to our, our area. We, we also need, uh, what, cows and chickens and there's some bees over there. Maybe we get some bees at some point. 
we need all of the the animals basically and then we can breed them up and then uh the whole reason behind getting all the different animals is because sometimes i know the vault thingy this thing the altar will ask for like weird stuff like it might ask for a hundred leather so if we had cows oh bit of iron there i like that why is deep slate all the way up here it's weird anyway yeah it might ask for like uh 100 leather or you know 10 bits of wool and uh yeah i want to be prepared for that right we are at the deep ocean issue is it's deep uh so i need to need to somehow get down there without without dying or suffocating i did bring some cobble with me so i can sort of like make myself a little room what the flip there's an axolot i've actually never seen one of those oh my goodness i'm going to drown this is uh, a method that i used to use quite a bit when i was underwater sorry about the sound but you spam torches and then you get a little bit of uh, air whilst the torch is there but anyway we need to go down to like is that it no, that's not it. That looks like fluorite, which everyone complains looks like, uh, like me. Yeah, everyone seems to complain about fluorite looking a little bit too much like chromatic iron. All right, we need to dig. Oh my god, this is going to take a while. Dig a little area, and then we'll go in, and then... Oh, I'm still going to have to do this for a bit. Okay, we're in, uh, and I found some glowberries, so that's really good. Do love a bit of glowberries. Uh, yeah, now I need to dig down to... What is it? Is Y30, or minus 30, I should say. I'm going to probably start mining from here. This is where I came in. I just blocked myself in, so fingers crossed. Do I use all of my uh, my torches? Is that what's floating about right there? I should probably try and get those back. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. I just realised I lost my uh, my compass. I think that's fine. Uh, yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. But I mean, it's kind of expected with a pack like this. For me, at least. If you've seen me play <laughs> the original series of this. Oh my god. Right. Uh, anyway, I am probably going to just... Yeah, I need to plant all of these back down. I'm going to do less trees because otherwise it takes ages. And I'm going to just go mining, I think. We're going to go down and mine and just hope we get lucky. Uh, I do need, like, a lot more torches. So I have been making some charcoal. Did I burn all of my wood? Except this stuff right here. Okay, good. Because I'm going to need that for sticks. There we go. Good amount of torches. Uh, let's just lob these away. I Oh, good. I need, got some more sticks. I also need to make a few more bits of iron. Because if we do find the chromatic iron... Oh, I don't know if chromatic iron needs diamond or not. But I know we need iron to mine diamond, right? So that's what we're looking at doing. So I am kind of worried that everybody says that it's really hard to find chromatic iron to begin with. Uh, according to Reddit at least, so not the most reputable source, but it's still uh, still worrying. Some person here spent over eight hours trying to find chromatic iron, doing all the stuff that everyone else is doing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, kind of four, but it's fluorite. Uh. Oh, at least I found some diamonds. That's pretty good. Uh, ooh, yeah, we found exactly enough. Unless there's more around here. Doesn't look like it. Anyway, we found some diamonds. That's good. That will make us a diamond pickaxe. And uh, we also can make the vault thingy, this thing. So we need diamond pickaxe to get the obsidian, and we need the uh, just the single diamond in the middle there. And you can see on my mini map that I am very close to lava, so we could easily 
Just go and get a bucket of water and chuck it on that. Get some obsidian. Okay, I've strip mines a decent amount of like stuff right here. I do think that I probably need to go over to where I died earlier. And over there I should have like all of the stuff that I need to get. Uh, what I might do is I might just like pillar up from the ocean floor and then make a little like floating base. What's this? Okay, that's nothing useful right now at least. Uh, I've been thinking about it. I might try and unlock create like pretty quick because... There's a lot of like automations and stuff you can do with create. I don't know if it's, uh, is it split into like many different, which one is it? It's over here. Oh, it is quite a lot though. It's six research points. And I still don't know if this plus 12 means it's plus 12 to everything or if it's just plus 12 to this one section. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's either that or we do torch masters so we can get rid of spawns near our area. Hmm. Also, I should definitely get the, uh, yeah, I should get these, uh, stairs everywhere. Otherwise, it's going to be a right pain in the bum. I'm just chopping down some trees, and I don't know if this is still a thing. I just put a big ring. Uh, okay, I missed a bit over here, but I put a big ring, uh, up the top there to try and make them so not big trees, because big trees are a right pain to, like, chop down. Whereas these smaller trees... Much easy to manage, if you know what I mean. We can, uh, I'll go get some more saplings and plant them down. There's less, like, wood that you get out of it, but it's still, I don't know, I, I prefer the little tiny ones because you can just get in there and you can knock them down easy enough. Right, I think I've got all the supplies I need. I've got loads of cobble deep slate. I might actually need a little bit more cobble deep slate. Let's just get that much. There we go. Loads of cobble deep slate. I've got a bunch of food. Could be better on the food front, but eh, it's all good. I've got loads of ladders, so I'll show you what I mean by I'm just going to, like, pillar up from the sea floor. Okay, this is what I meant. Uh, you do, like, a little plus sign, and then you can dig the plus sign out. Uh, I did swim all the way down and then place, like, one big line at a time. So it's a little bit time consuming, but it's not that bad. Uh, I'm just going to place a bunch of oak ladders in this. It's getting quite dark down here as well. It is night time as well, so I did uh, get a few visitors. Uh, a couple of drowned snuck up on me. And we uh, had a bit of fisticuffs. Actually, most of the damage that I took was uh, from drowning damage from swimming all the way down. There we go. There he is. There's a new one. Got a new friend over here, new drowned. I might just leave him there, to be fair. Uh, but this is what I mean. You can just uh, get on the ladders and you can go all the way down. Uh, I did actually go all the way back up because I want to make some doors. Because you can put a door down and it will block water. So, and it also makes like an air block around it, I believe. So you can sort of stand in it. It's like a little airlock. So it did start raining, uh, but we got ourselves all the way down to what looks like a cave. And it seems like the right level, so we're going to have a look around, maybe... Oh, it's a lush cave. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a look around, see if we can find some of this chromatic iron. I abandoned the idea of going through that lush cave, and it's pretty lucky that I did abandon that idea, because... You can't find chromatic iron with, like, air blocks around it. So you won't find it in a cave. You'll find it, like, if you strip mine or... It's quite close to lava most of the time. So you want to look for lava. Now, I should say that I've already recorded, like, the first four episodes. So I apologize if you guys have got, like, comments and, uh, like, tips and tricks and stuff that I should be doing. Uh, yeah, I've already recorded most of this. So, yeah, my bad. Now, I don't know if this is accurate, but apparently you should be uh, looking at the chunk boundaries. So I'm kind of just mining on the chunk boundaries of a chunk right now. And then uh, I'll probably move on to this chunk now. But that's where you're most likely to find the chromatic iron. We also need to find the vault stone. 
So, oh, actually, I should have been counting. So if this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So 10 more in this direction. And then we'll do a right turn. And we found ourselves some chromatic iron. Oh my god, that took flipping ages. Uh, I ran out of iron as well, like pickaxe wise. So, uh, yeah, at least we got some of this now. Oh, I probably... Did I mine from that direction and just not see it? Wow, there's some uh, diamond over here which I can't mine yet because uh, uh, I don't have any iron pickaxe. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I can't mine it yet, <laughs> which is a bit of a pain. Uh, but I did the little grid pattern that someone online said. I cannot find the link that I was looking at. I think it was... Oh, I'll go find it in a bit. Maybe put it in the comments if I remember. But someone said do it on chunk boundaries, and that's what we did. How many of this do we need? This does just smelt up, right? Okay, cool. Uh, oh, wait. You get more out of it if you... Uh, that's boostable. Got ya. Right, got ya. So, if you get a block of it... There's quite a bit there, so maybe we... Uh, Oh, we don't really want to mine that much of it though, right? Because we want to come back with uh, a pickaxe, uh, with fortune. I've got two. Oh, I actually do have some iron. Excellent. Maybe we'll smelt. Uh, do doors smelt? Can you use them to smelt stuff? Let's try and burn this door up. I'm also nearly out of food, so. Uh, oh, they do smelt up. Sweet. We can actually go get that. Diamond that we saw then. Ah, never mind. I just realised I don't have any sticks. Flipping egg. Okay, anyway. Uh, I'm going to wait for this to finish. And then I'll... Oh, it takes actually quite a long time. 1.5 items. Oh, okay. So it did like two. It used two doors. Got ya. Right. I think I can take all of this back with me now. Uh, I'll leave the furnace and all of this stuff down here. And we'll go back up to the surface. It was a bit of a bust going through, like, spelunking, cave diving, I found. So I, I started this area and then I got absolutely creamed by some skeletons. So. That looks so much like the ore, honestly. <laughs> I know lots of people have been complaining about that, but I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, damn. I just realized we need, yeah, we still need that vault rock, don't we, to make these. We can at least make the altar this episode, and then maybe next episode I'll go find some vault rock. I forgot to mention it earlier, but I got a spud off of uh, killing a zombie whilst I was being attacked in that, like, second level of the mine. Uh, but I also think, because we got an egg from somewhere, let's make ourselves a pumpkin pie, because we are... Desperate for food right now. Uh, I kind of want to grow these and then get more mushrooms out of them because I feel like mushrooms are going to be a thing that we need a lot of, maybe. Right, where is... Uh, we need some sticks. Oh, lucky I had a couple of planks on me right there. Uh, that's the point. I want to go see if... Yeah, these, these ones have not grown, so maybe this doesn't work anymore. Oh, did it have to be slabs? Oh, I always forget. But anyway, uh, why has it gone all, like, gross outside? We just slept, and it's all dark. And I can't see the sun. It's weird. Anyway, uh, we still need some obsidian, so where is the iron? Aha. It's a good thing we made this. I am just going to go get some water. And we'll go down to the obsidian, or the lava level, to make some obsidian. Right, easy enough, maybe. Wait. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to mine that one. Oh, poop. Okay, there we go. And then we can stick that one in there. And then when we mine this, which takes ages because it's obsidian, uh, the water should spread, and hopefully we'll pick the obsidian up. Uh, we're nearly there, so... Nice! 
So, here we go. I think I've got everything needed to make the vault altar. That is just going to sit there until we can find some of that vault rock. Because <laughs> that's going to be the, the biggest challenge right now. Um, I've spent many hours on this today. In fact, we'll have a look at the stats because... Uh, five hours. So the first like hour or two, uh, I was sort of like wandering about, right? And uh, trying to find somewhere to build. I did spend maybe like a little bit of time on this, maybe an hour and a bit. So overall, it's probably three or four hours it took me to get just some chromatic iron, uh, let alone the vault rock. So uh, yeah, that's going to have to be one for next episode. At least we made this thing. That's, that's a goal done, at least. And we got a diamond pickaxe and everything. Uh, but, and we built this thing. Yeah, this I quite like this this base idea. And then we can branch off in this direction and this direction, maybe. I was thinking this one is going to be for farming. I might get some animals down there as well. We can break the top open. Because uh, I want to do circles everywhere. I think that'll look good. Right, anyway, let's call it there for today. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.